In this video we're going to take a look at the secret recipe challenge on Hack the Box. It's an easy forensics challenge and the description says this damn meth cook encrypted his recipe but we found his RSA key. For some reason it's not working, can you help us? So let's download the files and we have how to make meth.txt and this RSA, RSA private key. Let's drag them over here and put in our password, Hack the Box. Oh, let's type it in correctly and let's do some basic file checks so let's just see what file types we have here we've got some data which is the how to make math.txt and then we have a pem rsa private key let's cut out the text file and you can see that it's some kind of encrypted text um, so it's the encrypted recipe to for the meth but we um, have the RSA key which isn't working so let's take a look at the RSA key cut that out, uh, RSA private key okay just looks like an RSA key here let's try and get some more information about it let's check the open SSL help to see what we can or oh, dash dash help nope uh, type help for a list okay help a pretty terrible help section by the looks of it. What if we do um, open SSL? Do we have. Okay. Wow, they're really expecting you to know what <laughs> what you're looking for here. Okay, if we do open SSL help enk, does that? Okay, so that'll give you a specific usage for the enk. Um, for the for the enk option of the enk command here. Um, Alright, let's try and do open SSL RSA um, UTL RSA util dash decrypt and then dash in we're going to take our encrypted um, recipe. What's it called? How to make math. We're going to take that as the in file and then as the out file we'll say decrypted.txt and then dash in the key and we'll take in the RSA private key. We run that and we get some errors here so it was unable to load the private key and we have some encoding problems here and it's actually called here RSA routines old RSA priv decode crypto RSA RSA underscore a meth okay so that's interesting the word meth is actually in in the the C file that's used in the OpenSSL library. So, considering the title and the description of the challenge, I'm going to take a guess that we need to look into this RSA a meth. So let's do that. Let's take a quick look at the GitHub. Although it's just going to give us access to the code, so I'm guessing it's probably not going to help us too much. Let's see where the line was. It was line 142 that the error was at. 142 and we have this RSA method no flag check don't check the okay mostly for smart cards alright yep got no idea what this means let's grab the error message that we got we'll take the whole thing probably some of this is like specific numbers related to our key and the files we're trying to decrypt but let's see what we get here I uh, cannot decrypt private key even though I know the passphrase. So somebody else is trying to decrypt here and they're getting a similar error by the looks of it. Do they get the do they get it at the same place? 115 RSA A meth. So it's not the same place. Out of interest, what is 115? Clear flags. Okay, it's something to do with the flags as well then. Let's see what was going on here. They said the name hints that the file may have been generated with SSH key gen. Have you tried using that to decrypt it as well? Okay, maybe we need to use that instead of OpenSSL. Also suggest changing the passphrase. Okay. Doesn't SSN, SSN key gen use OpenSSL under the hood? Okay. We have another an we have an answer here. Um I believe your private key was modified, so I was able to duplicate the same error by changing a single character in a sample passphrase 
Okay, you can reproduce this as follows. Try to decrypt it now. Okay. So in doing a little bit of research off camera there, I um, found that uh, in the forum discussion for this challenge, the creator left a a uh, note, um, a comment to say, to keep things fair, I'll drop hints that posted in the other channels here as well. It's a forensics challenge, there's no need to calculate PQ and whatnot. The challenge storyline should have been a hint for the tool to use. And ask yourself, what can the bad guys do to hide their tracks? Keep one in mind while you do so. So, reading through the comments here, there's a couple of hints. Um, we have a hint there in terms of... Uh, the challenge storyline should have been a hint for the tool to use. So, if we go back to our description, it says this damn meth cook encrypted his recipe. Now, what's the tool that we quite often use dealing with encoding and encryption? Cyberchef. So, let's open up Cyberchef and see um, see what we can do in here. I'm going to close this down and close that for now as well. So. Let's have a look first RSA in here, RSA decrypt and it's asking us for the RSA key. Let's grab that. Let's open Sublime, RSA private key, grab a copy of it and let's paste it in right here. Leave the password as blank for now. You'll see here we're getting an error, too few bytes to read ASN1 value. Let's um, grab our, we want to get our text file here, we could, we could upload it, can we upload it here? We can open a file as an input here, so that's an, an option. Another option would be to say base64 how to make meth. And then we could grab the base64 value, paste that in here, and then just in our recipe we can add a base64 from base64 in here. So that's going to convert this from base64. But again, we still have the same error, so it's something to do with this. Um, RSA key, which. We kind of expect because whenever we try to run this here, we're getting a, we're getting a, an error to say unable to load the private key. So the file type is pem. Let's have a look. We have here pem to hex and hex to pem. Let's let's pause our base sixty four there. Let's say hex to pem. And let's just actually let's get rid of this. Let's copy our private key. Get rid of that. Hex to pem. We just paste this in. Uh, sorry, not hex to pem. Pem to hex. Pem to hex. Okay. So now we have it in hex format here. Let's convert it from hex. And change the delimiter to none. Did that do anything? It doesn't appear to have. Okay, it doesn't appear to have done much there for us. Let's have a look at the top. Alright, I don't really see much difference there, but we'll change that. And then. Gonna set this to raw and fleet. We have a private key here. Let's try and see if this is the same. Let's do. Uh, what was the what was what's the files called? We had RSA private dot key. Let's do new private dot key. Paste that in there, and let's diff new private from RSA private. And it looks like they're completely different. Let's let's try and use our new 
private key and did that didn't give us any errors we have a decrypted let's print that and there we have what appears to be a flag what's in the middle of that a hex value let's go and see I'm gonna open up this open this in a new tab and we'll say from hex okay no maybe it's just the hex value we need to provide here let's try it out it looks like it's all decrypted properly for us anyway so if we were to submit this flag yeah flag accepted alright so that's the flag so this demonstrates the um, the issues in between convert and between types I guess with the PEM certificates presumably if we were to make more changes here and also with the um, the delimiter let's actually leave that adaptive let's see what we have here we can see completely different keys here what if we change this delimiter to auto that's the same what if we change it to a space it looks to be the same as well does it unless the let me see okay I don't really see any changes occurring there unless I'm missing them but um yeah I, to be honest if this challenge was an active challenge and there wasn't some hints available online I would have struggled a lot more in solving um, in coming up with this recipe for sure in CyberChef even with the the hints that were offered to us here but um, I hope you've enjoyed this challenge anyway any questions or comments did you solve this differently got um, a good methodology for solving this kind of challenge let me know um, Note that if uh, the hints hadn't kind of pointed us in the direction of CyberChef, I would have probably started playing around with the RSA CTF tool and stuff like that. Um, maybe not a great challenge in terms of the way it was, in, the ter in terms of the way it was laid out. But um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Take care.